On today's episode, we're building an aluminum air box for this cone type filter for my 16V swap. So if you guys watched my 16V swap video, you'll see that uh, I couldn't fit the factory air box in here properly and finding a filter for them is a pain in the butt. These cone filters are way easier to find. So I'm gonna just build my own aluminum air box here, possibly with a clear lid on it, we'll see. And uh, I'll have a tube going out the back to this back corner and up to a snorkel and that snorkel video will be another episode. Hang in there, let's check this out. So it's fairly tricky to make an air box. My first attempt did not go right, but this is what I've come up with now. I think this is gonna work. That'll sit back there like that. This box goes in. Hopefully it's not too big. It should just clear, hopefully just clear this. So that's where we're at so far. Now we're going to try and put it together. So here I just got to make an adapter to weld into the air box. All right, you can see I've got it just tacked in place here and I'm going to wait for it to cool down. Then I'm going to put it in the Zook, test fit it, make sure everything fits good. And then if everything's good, then I will weld it all up solid. All right, so <laughs> I finally got the box working and fitting. And this is version two. Here's version one that uh, didn't work out. Got it all built. So I thought, but you couldn't get the air filter off. So I built this one here. Now we got enough room that we can pull the air filter off and get it out outside of the box. So that's a bonus. We got to build a ring around here to put our bolt holes in to be able to bolt our top down. And then she'll be good. And then we'll, uh, We'll probably bore a hole back here for our snorkel tube. Our snorkel tube will come around like this, come through here, come out here, go and come up right in here. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so here we are. I got the air box all TIG welded up and uh, this is the top of the box and you're gonna be wondering why it's actually sealed, but I welded a flat plate on here that way I can take the plasma or a zip disc or whatever and cut out this here, leaving a flange all the way around. And then the actual lid will get bolted down to that flange all the way around. If I would have put strips in here and welded it, it would have probably warped and whatnot. So that's why I welded a flat plate on here. We'll just cut it all out, make another lid for it, get a gasket for it, drill and tap some holes and we're done and here i just got to install the insert for the uh, air temperature sensor goes in here we'll just uh, jv weld in an insert in here and then i got to i got to drill a hole here or cut a hole here install another pipe and that pipe there will be for this snorkel setup when i build that so let's cut this flange out all right guys here i'm going to show you where I've gotten to now, so I machined this little fitting here, and that's gonna be the a hose coupler there, and then that'll go to the snorkel. And I put a bunch of nut certs in, and I got me a piece of Lexan, and that'll get bolted down on top. And before I bolt that down on top, I'll put some of this rubber foam gasket all the way around it, cut the holes out for every one of these little bolts holes, and then we'll be ready to install it. 
Now this has got to be the longest short project I've ever done. If it hasn't been one thing, it's another. My first edition of this didn't work out. This is the second edition and having to run to town to get tubing and whatnot to make these parts. Had to repair my nut cert tool. That thing was about to let go and break. So I had to weld that up and spin a part on a lathe and uh, fix it up. But anyhow, we've almost got this licked. We're going on a day and a half to build this air box. Should have been two, three hours. Hang in there. We'll get this baby done and installed. And then tomorrow we're wheeling. So there'll be wheeling footage coming your way. All right, we got her all uh, done. We're just gonna install it now. The handy thing with putting those nut certs in is it is like a stop. They stick up just a little bit above the flange and I just have to tighten these screws down till it, it just starts to snug up and then I know I've hit the top of the nut cert and then you know you've got equal clamping on there. All right, the custom air box is all done. I bet you guys want to have a look at it. I want to have a look at it too. And it turned out awesome, looks great. It was quite the project though. It took me way longer than I thought it was going to take. Just little things going wrong one after the other. First edition didn't turn out very good. Had to rethink my whole idea for the air box and then breaking tools and whatnot. But anyhow, she's done and uh, it looks great. So if you guys are enjoying this sort of content and there's lots more coming, go ahead, subscribe, share, like these videos. Hit the bell to be notified. Don't forget to hit the bell. Lots of you subscribers are not hitting the bell, obviously, and you're missing out on all these videos. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's at Fabin underscore adventures. Go ahead, look in the description below to the link to my store where you can pick up shirts and hoodies and help support the channel. And we'll catch you guys next Friday.